Hi everyone! This video is a little bit late in that it is two weeks after New Year's Eve and what I'm actually going to be showing you in this video is what I did on New Year's Eve as part of a speed hexing contest that I took part in. So every year for some context, Jew organizes a, an amazing New Year's Eve slumber party which I think is a highlight for the Pence community. It's loads of fun, there's lots of games and there's contests and things like that as well. So this year I took part in a 60 minute speed hexing contest and what you're going to see is my mad scramble to try and get something ready in time and submit it for that contest. Okay, speed hexing time. Let's go. First thing I'm going to do is change some scales here. Um, no, I'm going to go 92 and 66. And then I need to change some outline thicknesses. No, wait, let me change body length first. I want this to be big. Let's go 35. Um, I will leave, I'm going to want that to be smaller for sure. Let's go 110. I might change that. Uh, don't worry about the ears. I'm going to omit them more than likely. Uh, I'm going to want the lines to be full thickness. So that's a pain. But I will come back to that later. Let's load this up in Pet Workshop. Okay, good. First thing I'm going to do is omit the tail. That's going to look different later than the ears. I will keep those end parts. Come on, go away, ears. This is an ad ball. 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 Okay. Here we go. So I'm going to make the ear left ear. That's the head I'm moving. Whoops. Okay, wait. Textures. Normally when I'm hexing, I have a base I use and the base is already colored in a way that makes it easy for me to see what I'm doing. That is not the case here, clearly, and it is quite difficult. Okay. Right, that'll do. I want to make this smaller. Okay, and I'm going to want to make these bigger. I chose a terrible color for this. Obviously, there is room to change that laser. I'm going to just make this a color that I can actually see. Um, it doesn't really matter what it is. Exactly. The ears, I want them to be really low on the head. And this I'm going to need to put quite, um, maybe here. Okay, let's go with that and then let's start adding apples. So we'll see how much I can manage to comment and concentrate at the same time. It's quite difficult to do. This is somewhat inspired by Oriental short hair cats, the kind of extreme show types. They have these crazy ears. I follow a lot of <laughs> Instagram accounts that show these cats. I just love the, the look of them. Okay. 
Now I don't want it to be too one dimensional. So I'm just going to try and give it some shape from the side as well. I'm not worrying too much about the sizes right now because I will adjust those in a second. The goal is to get a good outline for the ear first. Okay, fairly happy with that. Now I'm going to increase some sizes because I want this to be a fairly bold shape. And then connect some lines so I can actually see what it really looks like. So with this being a speed hex, I'm not going to worry too much about imperfections. I'll probably touch it up later, but for now I'm quite happy with that shape. And now I need to fill it in. This is kind of the tricky bit in my opinion. I don't want it to be so bulky. Okay. I know. And actually, I should go from here. So there are some details here that I will definitely need to work on later because. It will look kind of weird, but for now, I'm not going to worry too much. It's not fairly filled in. Yeah, it is. I'm going to actually just I'm gonna cheat a little bit and add a line from there to there. And that should hopefully fill in most of that gap. Okay. I'm fairly happy with that shape. Now I'm going to save and we need to make the mirror image of this. So ears and here. Wait, let's see. Nine, six, nine. My mind. Left ear. Now, oops, this might seem a bit crazy, but I am going to just try to calculate these. So, let's see. We have 80. 80 is this this one, so the corresponding one on this side is 83. And then we know that this is 98, 99, 100. So this is based on ball 100. This is based on ball 101. We have 82 which is the bottom one. So here it's this one, which is 85. And then we go, this is, this is ball 101, 102, 103. So this is based on ball 103. 
This is based on bolt 104. 8 is actually 10, and then we have 104, 105, 106. And hopefully, this will give me. Well, it won't give me a mirror image because I didn't actually reverse the signs. Let me do that. Hopefully, I have done that right. Okay, that looks roughly right. The reason it's all wonky is because I haven't actually adjusted the positioning of the ears. So here we go, 21, 12. So that should now, hopefully, be the same. Oh no, I've made a mistake somewhere. Okay, let's see. One of these numbers isn't quite right, so I need to follow through again. Uh, this is 92. 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. This is facing one. Yep, 101, 102, 103, 104, 103, 104, 105, 106. I'm not sure what's wrong. Oh no. Okay. Uh, Oh no, I know what's wrong. <laughs> um, it's these. I need to adjust these as well to match because I haven't done that. So 11 and 8. And we have 21, 19. It should be 16. And we have 8, 5, 10. That should, okay, so now this should be correct. If it isn't, I have a problem. Okay, yes, now it's correct. So let's go and connect. And then I, which ones did I do last time? I think it was this. And it doesn't matter that much. That will do. Okay, I have the overall shape of the head, the um, ears done. Let me adjust the head shape a little. Let me also do this. I always do this basically on the majority of my hexes. It's way too large. Oh, that's kind of interesting looking. Huh, maybe I'll keep it. That's not what I was planning, but I kind of like that. Let's keep it like this. Very strange shape. That's fun. Okay. I like that. <laughs> I will also make the jowls a bit bigger. It's one of the things about how I tend to hex is that I just do stuff and Just see what happens, basically. That looks alright. I'm giving it a bit of funny nose shape on purpose. I thought that would look kind of funny. Can you make it a little smaller so it's a little more obvious? Nah, I liked it bigger. Keep it, keep it like this. Okay. Okay, so far so good. Now, the body. Now there's certain 
things here that look a bit odd. That I need to fix. And there's a bunch of outlines I want to remove. Um, yep, okay. I also want to get rid of these and this. Okay, and I'm gonna add the tail in. So my idea for the tail is that it's gonna be a really long curving one. Obviously not this big. <laughs> this is huge. And I think I need to increase the size of the face a little bit. Good. No, oh, no. Decrease the size, not increase it. Let me just save quickly. I don't want to lose my progress. Let's see what this looks like. Gonna get rid of the fuzz, I don't want any fuzz on the tail. I'm gonna have to put more ad balls in to make it look smoother than that because I'm not happy with it being like that. Maybe I didn't unfuzz this one. There we go. This is an ad bull's tail, but it's based on the first tail ball, so it will move, but not in a crazy way. Similarly, I omitted the tips of the ears because otherwise they'd fly absolutely everywhere on this X, and I do not have time to deal with the uh, project ball or anything like that. projectable I should say. I always want to call it projectable. But it's project. Okay, I think I'm happy with a tail like that. Let me save and then I do want to make sure that the cheeks are that the cheek add balls I added here Let's see, where are we here? Four and five. Okay, so these are cheeks. Then there's a speed hex I'm trying to label because if I need to make any changes, it's going to be a lot easier to do. As you see, they're not quite the same, so we'll go for something in between for the height. There we go. So for, not for the height, for help, for the depth. Um, I've not been keeping very good track of all this, but that's okay. All right. Here I'm going to go ahead and make sure that these are all set to 100 because that's how I tend to prefer them. So these are the legs here. I'm not going to do it like this because it takes too long. I could be doing this in notepad really, but it's alright. I do need to know what 
check what time this uh, speed hex is actually due because I do not know. I have I saw that it was starting and I immediately started hexing. I did not check what time it was or anything. Now some of these might actually look kind of strange. Full width, so this is like the neck here actually. Um, I tend to prefer. So the neck side, let's make that 95. Actually, let's just make them both 95. That's probably better And everything else should be okay yep okay so save check what that looks like now much better now for the fuzz levels so i don't quite i think the head looks a little bit funny position of the head is a bit weird i think i need to take it forward a little Maybe I need to actually make it a little bit smaller. Maybe I should look at it in game before I decide. My idea was that this thing was going to be black. And I will ideally add inner ear linings. Um, I will do that in a second here. Okay, that's what I wanted to check. No, that didn't work. Um, why is that not filling? Did I color that line? No. Weird. I don't know what I did there. But in any case, come on. There we go. Okay. So that's the year is pretty much done. Let me add, let me actually move the head up very slightly there. How does that look? Ooh, it's a bit weird looking. No, okay, let's move that back down. Okay, so I want the head to be quite flat. I think what I need to do though is just move these. Mm. I guess we'll just see what they look like later. I'm going to make the nose 244 colored and now for the time being I'm just going to color the extremities in grey. I think I'm going to want to make the feet bigger. Let's give it a bright color for the eyes. 
if you mm. yeah let's go with that let me just check now I've moved the ear balls so I need to make sure that they're back to the same place you see this has been moved If this wasn't a speed hex, you'd be seeing me doing a lot more just in here in um, Des Hex, but because I'm speed hexing and I'm not labeling anything either, it's a disaster. Because I'm speed hexing, I'm just in a hurry. I will pay the price later. Okay, let's export and just have a look. Oh, that's loading. I'm just going to quickly check. Sorry, I have 4.53. And we have an hour. So I have about 20 minutes left, I think. Alright, that's a kitten. I'm a big. Oh, okay, the head is huge. Humongous head, okay. So. First things first. Uh, sorry, this is not, this is not my, here we go. So first thing I'm gonna do is change the head enlargement. Let's make it 100. And actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna move the nose forward and give it kind of a longer nose. I think that might be interesting. Maybe I should just do it in Pet Workshop. Actually, let's save. Oh, of course, Pet Workshop does not show you the effects of um, changing the head enlargement, so you can only really see what that looks like in game in a minute. But first, let me. I want to change the fuzz a bit. Um, not actually. I actually want to change the line fuzz. There we go. So that it matches a bit better because otherwise I always think it looks a bit weird. What I want it to look like is like it's fairly a fairly bulky creature. So I think I am gonna need to just color these so I can see them. I mean, I want to get them a bit bigger. And what I'd really like to do is actually give this shoulders. So I'm going to go ahead and do that actually. If I have time. When I say shoulders, I mean like a proper shoulder blade kind of area. done this in a few of my files and I quite like the look it gives um, in my like kind of wilds files more so than anything so like the snow leopard has this like that and then I will mirror this on the other side so save <clears throat> Shoulders. Good. Connect this one. There you go. So now it sort of has shoulders, which I think. 
quite good. Okay. I'm just going to try and make it look a little bulkier. I do really want to make the feet bigger. Without reshuffling everything around, this is going to be really tricky. So I'm not going to do too much, even though I think I would rather this is all much bigger. What I'll do is I'll just change the feet enlargement a little bit. I'll make them like this, and we'll see in a minute what that actually looks like. The leg extension, I think the leg extension is fine. Oh yes, I wanted to change the the uh, shape of the head. So let's take a look at the emitted balls. So I'm going to use the nose ball here to move this forward. I didn't actually adjust the nose position. Oh no, not that far. <laughs> just subtly, not a huge, not a huge amount, just there. I will emit the whiskers on this in a moment. Let me just make the jaw bigger, actually. And what I'm going to do is actually add a line from the jaw to the head. Okay, hopefully to smooth that a little bit. And I'm also going to change the profile a little by just lifting this out slightly. Yeah. Okay, that'll do. So here we need to do some changes. Um, okay. Actually, something I need to check is that I didn't, yeah, okay. I think I moved the butt earlier by mistake and I didn't check that I put it back properly. So this is the nose here, it's gone forward 18, and I did the same with the chin, that was pretty well gassed. I'm going to make sure that these are close to the same. The eyes are going to stay in the same place, cheeks in the same place. Uh, this is the jaw here. On the, yeah, okay, I think that looks good. So we also need the tongue to move forward. And I, I always double check that I know where they are, but I always double check them just in case. So 55 and 56 are the tongue. And I think, uh, interesting that the jaw actually ended up back in the same place. Anyway, I'm going to put the tongues, the tongue balls, 55 and 56. forward by a similar amount to the chin. Again, this at least is something that isn't going to obviously be a problem in a speed hex, so I can always come back and fix this later. And I'm going to omit the whiskers. I think that in the final one I might add whiskers, my custom whiskers, but um, the whiskers are 57 to 62. Yeah, but right now, ooh, I don't have time for that, I don't think. So, especially because I want to add markings to this. So, let's see. Um, oh, and I need to check the nose. Nose ball, where is it? Here we go. See, I need these to be the same. Not, not 10. Yeah, okay. Okay. 
Okay, yeah, okay, and then the foot enlargement, I already did that, okay, let's have a look. Uh, Jenny, let's have a look at what this looks like in game, go away, Chihuahua. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> I need one that doesn't flop, so that I can check properly what it looks like. Come on. Don't be on the side of the screen. Okay, I feel like the, uh, ooh, the body is maybe, the legs are not quite long enough. Um, for what I want, particularly I think the front legs. Let's just see. Look, look forward for me. No, okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to add some leg extension. I'm go for ten leg extension. I'm gonna change the head enlargement to eighty, and then I'm actually gonna go and increase the ball scale to 76 and let's just see what that looks like okay that's more like it that's more what I was after you see the tongue is poking through in the wrong spot so I'm gonna move that but yeah I'm quite happy with that now it's more what I was envisioning. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, they're quite funny. All right. So, time to do some refining. So the first thing I'm going to do is add some lines. Um, now I'm going to go for 244. Actually, I'm going to need to change the ball color first. So let's go with. Let's just go with. A gray for now. My plan here really would be to texture everything. So, okay. Lines. Oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. It's the outline I want. Um. Wait, what outline color? Why did I change it to two hundred forty-four? There we go. Okay. Yep, okay. Just use 172 on. No, no, that's not actually. Let's go for 120 and we do it on the ear ball and the same on the side. Come on. on okay it doesn't really matter we're gonna build it on the side
because these ears are so chunky, it's actually not so difficult to do this, which is nice. Okay, and then we need to just change this back to whatever. Doesn't actually matter what right now. No, that was a mistake. Bring it forward a little because I do not want it to stick out the back. And then I will I'll save it. Here here. So I just make sure that um I haven't moved anything out of place. 28, 32, 33, 21, 15, 19, 34, 25, 3, 15, 10, 4, 16, 0, 8, 8, 1, 3, 16, 3, 8, 8, 2, 9. Okay, I got lucky there, I guess. Unless I moved something here. 11, 10, 8, 16, 8, 5, 10. No, I didn't. Okay. So this is now the right inner ear. Whoops. Put in the left inner ear. Okay, and I probably am really running out of time now. So I am going to do this and it's going to be my last change. Baseball is not so easy. Okay, there we go. Yeah, okay. Textures. Import, import texture. Let's go to uh no, that's not where I want to be. I want to be in Documents, it's for resource. That's, I'm gonna go for smoke. Let's see. This is what I had in mind. Okay. Okay, and And so sad. Some more detail lines like this. Okay. And this one. Okay. Okay. 
Oh, that's too dark. Okay. 31, let's see. Does that work? Yeah, that's better. Okay. No. So we're going to be doing two colors. One is going to be effectively a stand in for the base color, which I'm going to do in 25, and the other one is going to be the stripe color, which I'm going to do in 119, or the marking color, whatever it's going to be. Um, and I'm going to up the first to two, and we're just going to do this, then 50, I'll make it, I'll make it 30 so it shows a bit clearer. Like this, I don't want it exactly symmetrical, so that's on purpose. Um, did I, what color did I do it in? I did it in 119, I can't even remember. I don't think it was 119, what was it? 110. Okay. <laughs> okay. And then again, 31. That's a bit too small. Let's go for 20. Yes, that's better. And hopefully you see what's happening here. I'm getting stripes. Okay. How much time do I have left? Not very long. That's fine. So wherever we have 31, it's going to be replaced by the smoke texture, which is number one. And 
and of course I'm going to anchor at the same time. And then wherever we have 110, I'm going to put in, let me just see. If this is unused, which it appears to be, yep, so it's going to be zero. Okay. Uh, okay, these 30s are obviously a mistake here, but it's fine. I will just manually do those. No, I did in multiple places. Okay, so in that case, I'm gonna just go ahead and do this because otherwise it'll take too long. Okay, so I'll look okay. Yes, I think so. Select all. Paste here. All right. Save. Export. Okay. So this should now have stripes. Yep, it does. Okay, they don't look that great to be honest because of the length of the back. but I do not have time to worry about that right now. So let's at least go and change that texture into something interesting. So let's go to our cats folder. I'm thinking of a, maybe plush teal. Let's try plush teal. Oops, I changed the wrong one. <laughs> Go figure. Okay. Yes, okay, that's more what I was going for, but I got rid of the smoke one. I actually was not crazy about that, so let's see if I have something better. Um, maybe one of the mottled patterns? Hmm. Maybe we could try... I know what I want. I want that maroon black. Where is it? Um, maybe it's black maroon. I have so many textures, it's hard to find them. Maroon. Oh, wait, I think that's it. Yeah, these. I love these. Okay.
Transparency. Yeah. Not a fan of the stripiness. Okay, we're gonna go for something unusual there. I'm gonna go for mot teal. Um, no, I can't do that. Yeah, I can. Let's do it. Not teal. Give it 60, oops. 65 transparency, and then I need to change these all to be 35. No, not those, sorry, these. It's difficult under pressure. Happened? Did I use the wrong one? What did I do? What did I do? I messed up the texture somehow. Come on. What did I do? Uh, oh, there we go. BMP. Okay, we are really running out of time, so I'm adopting now. Not worrying about the name or anything. Just gonna. Save some pics. Don't care about what it's called. Let's go to the playpen. I would like you to sit down if you could. It's definitely not entirely finished, right? It's 100% not finished, but it is what it is at this point. So, I, for example, I need to fix the shoulders. The markings are definitely not done, but yeah. Okay, let's see how we're doing here. Speed hex. What time does it end? End time is 9 p.m. Okay, so I have five minutes, five minutes to make a picture. I 
think I will use this picture and that picture. Um, let's see, can I get a cute one? I like that one. And can I, let me go to the clothes closet and see if I can put um, a bow. Come on. No. Oh dear. Okay, that'll do. I like this one. And perhaps this one. Okay. Okay, this will do, and I should put a color on the first layer so that I can see what I'm doing. No, layer two. Zoom in. Get rid of these white bits. What is going on? Am I not doing the right one? Yes, I am. Okay. Delete. Okay, and then... Lights, 3D effects, drop shadow, okay. Drop shadow. layer, zoom in and add some eye shines, make sure it's white, oh no, And here we are two weeks after the slumber party. This video was a little bit late, but I wanted to make sure that I had time to explain context and show you the the tweaked end result, as well as the, the video from New Year's Eve. 
as you can see, quite a lot changed on this hex. The basic idea is still the same, but I ended up making it smaller, stockier, added custom whiskers like I mentioned I might, and I did also tweak the ears a little bit and the markings. So a lot changed since the, the entry that I showed you earlier. The truth is that I was very overambitious in that hexing contest. I've entered two hexing contests in the past. One was this year's slumber party and the other was last year's slumber party and I haven't done any practicing in between. And uh, to be honest, I don't really know what I am capable of in that shortest period of time, clearly. So the first context I entered, contest I entered, I, it was a 90 minute one. I had no plan whatsoever and that went quite well. This time I had 60 minutes and I had quite a clear plan and that was definitely a mistake. I think going forwards I would try and be a little bit more uh, impulsive and uh, improvise instead of planning. So the idea behind it, if you are interested, was uh, that it would have a somewhat bear-like conformation almost, quite stocky and uh, thick set, but then would also have the, the low wide ears of an oriental short hair cat, or some oriental short hair cats anyway. Because I had seen them and I had a, a photo of one of them in my inspirations board for a really long time. Anyway, this is what ended up happening after I tweaked it. I think it worked out quite well in the end. It's a very funny little creature, which was kind of the idea anyway. And yeah, I had a lot of fun doing it. I think I'll try and do a little bit more speed hexing and just, just on my own and just challenge myself, maybe record some of it for everybody else to watch and see how crazy and uh, scrambling it all is, because it was certainly a bit of a, a panicked mad dash to get this done. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to come and join in in the slumber party next year. I hope that it does happen again. And uh, I think there were some calls to try and have events similar to it during the year as well. So maybe we won't even need to wait until next New Year's Eve. I do hope so because it really is a huge highlight. And uh, for anyone worrying that you have to be able to hex to take part, that's definitely not the case. There are lots of gameplay challenges and just fun things you can do. There's usually stuff to collect like stamps, which are definitely a community craze, and pets to adopt and all kinds of things. So do join in on that if you can. And uh, I hope you enjoyed watching me madly scramble to hex this creature. Bye.